Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talk About Houses. As you can see, Todd and Juana are not here. They have the night off tonight. Apparently, they're going to some big costume party. So we are taking their place. Uh, what we would like you to do is guess who we are by putting it in the comments. Right. So you need to guess this gentleman's name as well as my name. Please put them in the comments. Now, let's go with the video. Okay, so what we are going to talk about today is uh, this the situation with mortgage debt, how it affects the housing market, and what this looks like going forward because, uh, and I'll just hit the headline the article here, 84% of outstanding mortgage debt has a sub 6% rate. So um, one, it, the housing market's kind of locked up because there's a lot of people who don't want to get rid of their 2.5%, 3% rate and sell their house and buy another house. So there's a house not coming on the market. They might be buying the next house, but they're certainly not selling the first house, right? Correct. So talk about how that sort of, why does that lock up the housing market and why do you think that's led to the fact that there's a lot less homes on the market today than there should be in a normal market? Right. So we have people who have been uh, in this situation where it's not necessarily affordability, although for obviously for some people it is, but for some people, it's not just affordability alone. It's simply wrapping their minds around paying 6%, 7% for a mortgage when they've got a 2 to 3% mortgage. That additional 4% or, or so in interest is something that just gives them angst and it's just completely unpalatable. So they're kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting until mortgage rates get to a point where they're more comfortable and they see their opportunity to refinance in um, in a shorter time horizon. So let me give you an example. So let's say that you have a 3% mortgage, which is a lot of people out there, and you can get a, let's say, 6.5% mortgage today. And you're thinking, well, you know, I'm going to wait until mortgages get to five and seven eighths because that's more palatable to me and then I, I know I can refinance within a couple of years of that and maybe I'll be able to get down to maybe four percent and that that's something that I can wrap my head around as opposed to maybe people who bought homes in the last couple of years and maybe paid seven percent and they have a much longer time horizon then until they can refinance to that mortgage rate that is closer to what they currently have so that's that's a mindset issue for some people, it is also an affordability issue, but I think by and large, it is a mindset issue. Okay, here's a chart I'm gonna put up. Uh, this is the um, outstanding mortgage rate that people have, and then this is the share of mortgages. So um, really quick, we'll just hit this. So less than 3%, or I mean, people that have a less than 3% loan, so this could be anywhere from 0.1% to 2.99% is 21.6 of all mortgages. Now, this isn't mortgages that were originated in the second quarter of 2024. This was of all mortgages, no matter when they were originated, okay? Right. Three to 4%, that's 34.6%. So what this means is 4%, people that have 4% or less, which is a smoking good deal, yes. there's no question, are about 55% of all mortgages. Now, want it. this is not all houses. No, it's not. So remember, over 40% of homes are owned free and clear. So that means this is less than 60% of homes out there have mortgages. And that does not mean that they have a full balance. Remember that less than 60% is homes anywhere from owing maybe a year's worth of payments to owing all the way up to almost 30 years worth of payments and everything in between. We know that amongst those, uh, a majority of them owe very little relative to the equity that they have on the home because they've had the homes for for some time. Um, another thing to keep in mind, for example, in Vegas, over half of all homes are free and clear. Right. So, and remember, our price prices really, you know, most of the people who bought homes, unless you bought it in the last two or three years, the prices weren't that much. Median home prices just a few years ago were like three forty five. Now they're over five hundred. So, you know, I, I hear this thing where people say, but the, the, these people that got these predatory 6.5% loans, they can't afford 6.5%. Wanna, what lender, if they can't afford 6.5% loan on a, on a $400,000 house, you know, how did the lender even loan them that money? So, look, uh, loan standards have changed dramatically over the past 
15 years or so, right? So purchasers out there who have loans, they are well qualified, they have good credit scores, they have um, good paying jobs, they can, they can afford these homes. And remember, there's that, that thing called the debt to income ratio, right? So they can service these loans. Otherwise, the lender would not have issued the loan. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yes, there's no question. Your monthly payment is more today getting a 6.5% loan than if you'd gotten a 3 or 4% loan. But then again, the option you do is wait two, three, four years or however long. I don't know how long it's going to take for rates to go down to you know 3 or 4% if they ever get there again. Mm -hmm. And if they do, how much have home prices got up? And you could buy today and then just refi in the future. Or you could just buy today knowing that if rates do go up, this is... The, I mean, because if you took this rate chart and showed it to somebody in 1983, when mortgage rates were like 18%, mm -hmm. they would say, this is fake. This is... Rates are never going to be <laughs> under... Like, how do 21% of people have under 3%? That doesn't make any sense. Right. Right? Because they were paying 18% at the time. So anyway, wanted to share this data. Thought it was pretty cool. Um, you know, we have no idea what is going to happen with mortgage rates. Mm hmm uh, but we did just talk to a lender. We just talked to some lender people today. And I mean, it's not impossible to get six and a quarter percent on a, like over a million dollar property. So it's, interest rates historically are still below the, you know, call it the 50 year average mm -hmm. of mortgages. Yes. Compared to, you, you know, 2020, 2021 is not the benchmark for what rates should be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anything to f before we're done? Uh, please remember to put in the comments who the substitutes for Todd and Wana were today. Yes. <laughs> and we will let them know who the winner is. That's right. Um, and then remember, your real estate related comments are always appreciated. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, share the video, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.